Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Steam Bitcoin bot. You're going to need three things for this, and they're all going to be down at the top of the description. The first thing you're going to need is these bot files right here. The download link will be in the description for those. You'll need Node.js. The download link for that will also be in the description. And you also need some form of database, where if you're putting it on a VPS, you can just use phpMyAdmin. But if you're using it on your desktop, like I'm going to do, you can use like a, a desktop service like program. You can just search those into Google. I'll leave one, like a good, good one down in the description for you guys to use. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to CMD. If you're doing this on your desktop, if you're doing it on a VPS, you can just uh, put it in the console. I also want you guys to know that all the commands will be in a file in here. If you just go to the readme file, I have it already have it open. It'll bring you to this and these are all the instructions step by step. So if you guys get lost at any point or just want to stop watching the video and just want to do it yourself, there, there you go. So what you're going to do in this command prompt here is you're going to type, let's just get this line, you're going to do cd, do space, and you're going to go here and open up the, the files you just extracted, and click up here and do control c to copy. Then right click here to paste in. This will put you into the file, and then you're going to go to your, your commands list, your help, your readme, and you're just going to paste in the commands one by one, so npm install, there you go. Now you're going to do the next one after that, which once this one's done installing. Some of these may take a little bit. It might be a little bit faster if you do it on a VPS though. Also in the readme, they also have like fixes for a bunch of errors. So before commenting like doesn't work, error, whatever, go look in the readme and make sure the error is already told how to you how to fix it. Next, now we'll just paste in this next command here. After you do this command is when you're supposed to set up your database. I'm not going to do that now because I'm not actually going to set the bot up. But all that information is in the readme. Basically what you do is you just make the database and then you'll just put the database information into the config file once we get to that part. So now there's one more command we have to paste in. Let me get it here. And we'll paste that last command in. And there should be one more after this to start it. Before we do that last command, we're going to go here and we're going to go to config right here. And we're going to do right click and do open with uh, notepad plus plus. Uh, you can just use normal notepad if you want, but I prefer notepad plus plus. And I'm just going to show you some of the basic stuff right here. So this is the developer's name right here. If you look. So basically this is all his information, so yeah, if you guys want to go get in contact with him, there you go. Basically this is your Bitcoin account, right here would just be the login name for your Bitcoin. You just leave this blank so you, you delete this obviously, but your file does not have the stuff inputted. This is, you, it, there is isn't instructions in the readme to how to get this. The password for the account for Bitcoin, you leave this blank as well. This would just be the, the base URL. I would just leave that alone for right now. And I would leave this alone too. So this is gonna be the bot's username, the bot's password, uh, the shared secret, which if you don't know how to get that, I have a video on how to use Steam Desktop Authenticator. You guys can watch that to figure out how to get your secrets. Uh, you can make this anything you want. Uh, the domain is not really necessary, but if you have a domain, you know, you can use that. This is the interval of how often your bot will check for trades. Uh, this is your account steam link for the admin um, So this would be your main account the admin trade link. This is important uh, The group ID so if you have a steam group for your trade bot you put that there and you put the link right here if you have that So this is also the bot's trade offer link So you just need to input that information and this down here the server information. This is if you put it on a VPS uh, You input the VPS information here and the PHP my admin information here. If you're not doing that, I would just leave this blank. And so the Steam ID 64 down here, you can just go to Google and type in Steam ID 64 and then type in your bot's name and it will give you this. This is for the owner though. So there you go. Uh, and you can see like some custom messages down here where you can like say what the bot's gonna say if whatever what happens. 
and this would be like your admins. I would just leave this blank because you specified your main account up here. After you do that, you're basically done. You just have to wait for this. And after that, you'll just type in node steambot.js and that will actually start the bot. I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't have a bot currently used for this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, you can go to the readme if you have any questions. There's like a lot of common... I'll actually pull it over here. So there's like common questions down here. If, like if you can't find something, it tells you how to find it. Um, it also has like some information here. So if you counter whatever this error, it tells you how to fix it right here. So I would refer to those first before you leave a comment. But if you can't find your problem in there, leave me a comment. And I can help you guys out. Um, you can add me on Steam as well. Uh, Discord, anything like that, just let me know, and I can help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching.